It's the Cornerman Radio Live with Barzini and Boxing Night. Shout out to the whole LDBC. I and Dan Raphael also reported. Also, Lance Parmaya and LA Times reported this. Uh, I will put the article in the description. Um, Maurice Hooker versus Jorge Linares in June. Jorge Linares is also going to be on that Jared Miller undercard versus um, Trevor Bar- um, Bryan. He's also going to be on that card as well as Chris Algieri. And they're trying to schedule that fight for June. That's what Eddie Hearn is saying to these reporters. He also talked about it while um, Maurice Hooker got his win against Alex. So... For me, I, I, Linares is a good fighter, really talented, super skilled, but I feel like at 135. At 140, I think everybody smashes Jorge Linares. And, and that's not discrediting Jorge Linares. Like I said, he's really an awesome fighter. Just a pure skill fighter. But these guys at 140 can punch. And are going and have relentless styles, and I feel like and Jorge don't have no chin, and that's the problem. Maurice Hooker has shown he got pop, and I feel like he's going to Maurice Hooker is going to knock out Jorge Linares. I don't think he belongs at 140. I think Jorge has better chances on fighting at lightweight. He can get a lot of wins at lightweight, beating Ray Beltron or something, fight Felix Fredejo. He can have a lot of other fights. Anthony, um, he already fought Corolla. He can fight Terry Flanagan. All those fights, man, but not not 140. Maurice Hooker is going to he's going to smash him eventually. Jorge is going to look good for 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 a while, for a little bit. And then Maurice Hooker, once he let his hands go and get to his rhythm, he's going to smash him, man. And that's all I got, man. But what's your take on this matchup? Oh, my bad. I was on mute. Yeah, I got Maurice Hooker, man, just like you. Um, It's interesting. But like I said, man, about Maurice Hooker, he's on. He's rangy. And, uh, Linares is a natural at that weight, man. And Hooker got that. He got them stinging shots from range, man. He, he, and he's a, and I like his sneakiness, too, when he lays on the ropes and shit. You know, Linares' speed might be interesting for, you know, first half of the fight or whatever. But I think Hooker, he would jump on his ass as soon as he hurts him. You know, that, that's when... Linares is going to get welcomed back to being knocked out. And uh, I would honestly predict, I think anywhere from six to nine, maybe five to eight, Maurice Hooker will will stop Jorge Linares, honestly. But that's it, man. 